Up there. That's the Arts on the Pass. Gonna head there tomorrow. That's the pass. That's on the pass. About time. Push in the valley. Morning. It was freezing last night. It was quite alright in a way. Sleeping back, but there's some conden condensation in the tent. The ground is still frozen. That was my campsite for the night. Now heading to Dartlo for a night in a bed for a change. No river crossing this time, just climbing over the rocks over there. Doable with a backpack, might be tough going with a bike. Shepherd's hut. Luckily, the dog is not around. Neither is the shepherd, though. Should be less than two kilometers to go to Girevi. And boy, I'm gonna eat over there. There should be a guest house with some really, 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 really good food. Or at least I hope so. And the trail is actually rideable. on the road and back in the business of riding the bike instead of pushing it about 14 kilometers to Dartlo and I think I'm gonna find myself a bed from there and some proper food so back in civilization found Dartlo and a nice guest house that's my room over there and looks like I'm the only visitor today and currently I'm warming water for my shower so that's the warming system and uh, that's the shower that was my first shower in a week <coughs> and these ladies were watching might be guys as well <sighs> had my first proper dinner in five days six days bike does need a bit of fixing but I'll do that first thing in the morning been riding for is it six days now so about time to give it a proper proper check so good night from Darkla good morning or <laughs> 11 o'clock already. Just left Tartlo, you can probably see it back there. All the way down there. And uh, heading up over there. Work for your viewers, they say. Meet you up there. Quite a place again. The trail is heading up this ridge and uh, it's too shitty all around. 
Love it. Check this out. Tushetti Valley. Lunch time. Time to open up my bag of Tushetian energy gel. Delicious. On the ridge. If somebody asks you what bikepacking in Tusheti is like, show them this. Perfect spot. Traffic jam. Pop, pop. Survived. Major crossroads on the Omalo Dartla Highway in Tusheti. Hi. Hello. Me, Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Finland. Finland. Yeah. Thank you. Started heading out of Tusheti on the only road that's leading to and from here through Albano Pass. I've heard it's supposed to be among the top five or top ten most dangerous roads in the world. Let's see how I fare here. There's a dog. Hey! Hey! I don't want to scare it. Sometimes they are really nasty. This one looks either deaf or Okay, seem to be okay. There are some really dark clouds chasing me. I hope I can find a camping spot before they catch me. Max three hours of daylight left. <coughs> so tonight this is a, one of the less inviting places to camp. But just wanted to get off the road. Because it's getting dark soon. On the way to Albano Pass, the road is going down there in the valley, so I'm just barely out of sight. The local Mehio just bought this from Omala. That was a tiny shop selling dried foods. Let's see how it tastes. Exotic. One of those mornings when everything is wet and the sun is behind the tree so it doesn't dry up the gear. Climbing up the Albano Pass, still about 600 meters of elevation to climb, but I'm already well up here. And thankfully the weather looks perfect, even though there were these stormy clouds in the horizon yesterday. Somewhere over there. Tarmac I've seen since uh, Roshka on day one, two, so the morning of day three. So it's been close to a week without any tarmac road. It's definitely less fun but faster progress. First proper shop in a long time. Got myself an ice cream and a coke and chips and uh, some salty snacks and stuff. <laughs> 